Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It's been a while since I've received a video question over on YouTube, and hopefully you've subscribed to our YouTube channel. You can do it real easily by clicking the orange button. Uh, here's a question I just received this evening. Hey, Chris. Um, this is Michael from Florida. I just wanted to ask you, I just switched to a Mac. I have a MacBook Pro, and I'm loving it. But do I need antivirus software? Um, is it really necessary on a Mac? If so, what are some good free programs that I can get? Uh, good question. Do you need to have antivirus for your Mac? The answer is yes. If you're running any kind of operating system, not having antivirus is like, well, walking outside in the middle of winter without dressing properly. I mean, even though there aren't that many viruses available, <laughs> it makes it sound like there's, oh yes, I'd like that virus and that virus. Though there are far fewer viruses for OS X than there are for Windows, that doesn't mean you should just go you know, walking into, hey, I'm just going to download everything because there's not any viruses for OS X. That's not true. There are viruses on any operating system, and leaving yourself unprotected is just kind of crazy. Uh, of course, it is the shorter nail, so there are more viruses that are available that will run on the Windows platform, more exploits, if you will, doesn't mean that Mac OS X is inherently more secure. It just means it's a, a shorter nail, and that nail is getting taller by the day. Uh, the antivirus software, if someone hasn't already recommended it in chat, oh, yes, Wireless Packet did. Clam Zav, at least that's how I pronounce it, C-L-A-M-X-A-V, the X stands for yeah, OS X, so I guess it'd be Clam 10 AV. Uh, clamxav.com. You can download it. Open source, so it's available for any operating system. This one happens to be uh, built specifically for OS X, and uh, you can run it on demand. You can do a scan every day. To tell you the truth, um, the chances of you finding a, a, a virus in a program uh, are pretty slim. Now, I'm not going to say they're not existent, but uh, if you stick to downloading from sites like apple.com, Mac Update, Version Tracker, uh, known repositories of software that have done the scanning for you, you're going to be fine. If you're downloading programs from peer-to-peer -peer networks, well, hey, you're on your own. And I don't recommend that at all for that very reason. Is That's how most people get spyware and viruses and, and Trojans. Oh, my. Uh, as long as you download from trusted repositories or like uh, even iusethis.com, another good resource because that's how you can tell how many other people are using those programs. The more people that use these various programs, the less likely you are to, as long as you download from an official source, the less likely you are to be infected in any way, shape, or form. So if anybody else has any recommendations beyond Clamex AV, I'd certainly be interested in taking a look. Uh, I know I have a handful of coupons for Trend Micro and Semantic and uh, other types of security products, at least for Windows. So before you go out and purchase those, you might want to ask me where to find those, and I'd be sure to try to get you the, the best discount possible. That's, that's what you get when you deal with a geek. And yes, I am geeky. Now, if you've got a question, you can either post it to YouTube as a, a follow-up response to one of the videos that we post on our YouTube channel, or just you know post in general, email it to me, chris at perillo.com. That's me. Oh, of course, you're also welcome to embed this video in case you wanted to share with the world. Hey, look, see, Macs have viruses, just not that many of them, and this is what you can do to stop them or keep your system completely clean. You're also welcome to swing by the chat room anytime, day or night. We're typically talking tech, whether it's about Linux, Mac, Windows, Xbox 360, PS3, PSP, Nintendo DS, DirectX 10, OpenGL. I mean, we talk about it all. You've been by the chat room, right? Well, if you don't ever come by the chat room, what about now? Right now. Just come over. Anytime, day or night. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.